In today's video, we're going to be making jelly print Christmas cards with jacaranda leaves. And if you don't happen to have jacaranda leaves, perhaps you have a friendly family fern that would be willing to give up a leaf or two for this wonderful project. Hi, I'm Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. Let's get started. Okay, so I was working with these leaves with moderate success. I did get some, some that I like, um, uh, but I realized that I could trim it down and possibly make like little Christmas tree cards. That's probably a little bit big still. Let me just, we'll trim it down just a little bit more. Need the scissors. making a mess there. Okay. And then um, I tried to use this for the top of the tree, but it's too big. So we'll just cut a little star out of, um, cut a little star out of some collage paper and it'll be perfect. So let's make a tree. I mean, tree colors. That's probably too much paint on there. All right, so a little, uh, do we have any card size? So let's get a base print on here. Pretty. We've got a leaf stuck right in the middle. It's all right though. Let's do another one. I have bronze. I gotta get these leaves off of here. That's pretty. All right, let's do one gold. A little bit of white. <clears throat> it's not looking very gold. That's interesting. All right, so let's make a tree. So let's do a really light contrast on top of that. Um, do white. This is iridescent gold. Titanium white. Oh, that was too much. I know that was too much. Yeah, that's way too much paint on there. Use some um, iridescent gold as well. That's better. Put our tree down. Put our paper down. Okay, whoops. All right, so I'm gonna lift this up, take the, tr take the leaves out and put it right back down. There's a nice little tree. Okay, uh, let's do another one. Let's do dark green on top of this bronze. Uh, 
I'll do sap green, uh, some Van Dyke brown, and I'm just hearing a little bit of pyrrole red. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll see. Mixing red and green is not usually a smart idea, but let's just see what happens. Okay, put our tree down. Paper down. Oh, I'm making such a mess today. <laughs> Get a good pressure. It up. That was not enough contrast, so you'll see what happens when you're too close in your base and your top coat, and it's just a mash mashup. See what we can do about that in a second. We'll do one more here with um, this base here. Let's do a deep blue over that. Ultramarine blue. Some phthalo blue. That's not quite dark enough. A little bit more. Some Van Dyke brown. <clears throat> that nice and dark. My brayer's starting to pick up paint instead of roller it out, which means it's really congested with paint. Lord. We got such chaos going on in here. There we go. All right, let's try it again. Lift this up, take the tree out, press it right back down. There, that's better. Not sure I'm loving that color around it, but, and then let's see what we can do with this. I think I'm just going to do like a gold base. Poor thing, I can't leave it the way it is. And we'll just press this down. So, um, sadness covered. Now I think I want to go with just a really bright red over that. Oh, now it's too much paint. Used to my, my 8x10 plate. Got a brayer, pick some of that off. Put down the tree. This up. Oh, this looks nice. Pull the tree out, put it back down. Nice. It's so very subtle, but there it is. Okay, so to finish up our little tree cards, um, I'm using um, just like collage paper that I had, and I cut out little stars to put on the top. Um, for these last two, I'm gonna use this, just this gold paper that I had, and I just drew a funky little star on the back and cut it out. Um, the first couple of the points were kind of 
too pointy, so I'm they don't need to be so sharp as I was making them. And these are kind of funky, so I don't mind if the stars are funky. So that'll do. So we'll take a little bit of matte medium and just smooth it on there. Matte medium drying completely clear so it won't show up. And one more. And then we've got um, Christmas cards all ready to go there. So here are two of the finished results. And I just took the print that we made and adhered it to a five by seven Strathmore blank note card using the ATG gun. And if you don't have one of these, certainly you can just glue it down. Uh, I hope you have fun with this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.